Why am I always trying to eat my food when it's so hot? After I eat, oh my gosh, I just feel like Santa with my belly, like ho, ho, ho. Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happy Liver After Living. Today is Wednesday, January 11th, and it is currently 9.52. I've been out here working in my garage for, I don't know, like since 6.30 maybe. So I've been trying to like declutter and get my gym area situated. Let me show you guys. So here's some of the stuff that I've been getting rid of. That's actually a whole lot more, but like this looks a whole lot better than it did before. Um, but I still need to go through and like sort things if that makes any sense. So I'm trying to create a nice little studio area, but I'm making a lot of progress. Before I picked up the camera, I was over here like cleaning this off. This is my little um, trampoline that is really good for increasing blood flow and circulation, as well as like building up strength in your legs because I do want some muscular legs by the end of this year. Um, but yeah, I just picked up the camera because, so I picked up the camera because I'm actually starting to get a little hungry and also I haven't worked out yet either. So I think that, I am going to pick you guys along with me today. I've currently been fasting for, let's see. Yeah, I just flipped over, over to look at my app, but I've currently been fasting for 14 hours and 56 minutes. Um, and I'm starting to think about food a little bit, but I think what I'm going to do is find like a stopping place here with all of the stuff that I've been cleaning so far. And then I need to go and put on some pants because currently wearing shorts like that are not appropriate enough or warm enough to like actually go outside and walk in and then after that i think i'm going to find a nice low carb recipe and then we'll cook something yummy does it sound good i think that'll be fun and later today i'll come back out and work on this garage a little bit more i'm off from work today which is really nice so this is definitely on my to-do list okay in the past, I've always been really good about like organizing things into like bins and containers. But this time I just really focused in more on trying to get rid of like more of the containers. Um, I will say that I'm very lucky that I live in a neighborhood where I'll clean that one before putting it out. Where someone will probably come and pick this stuff up. Another thing that I'll be putting out are like all of these size sheets. Um, you know, honestly, people may just pick it up and then resell it or donate it. I don't, I don't really, it doesn't bother me. I just know that I'm putting all of these out by the road too, but I will cover them so they don't get too wet. Also, this suitcase is going out. I got rid of two suitcases yesterday. I put them by the road and someone picked those up as well. For example, today I have this out here and this table from Pier 1 and I have that bed frame and I know someone will come pick it up because yesterday I had pots and dishes and all kinds of stuff and someone picked those up. Okay, I'm still working. I know I look a little crazy, but it's okay guys, it's worth it. So one thing I wanted to share with you guys is that part of the reason why I want to create a nice space is because one, I want to create more content, like workout content for you guys here. And then also I want a space where I just feel really good in, like a, a space where, like I know the body that I want to create and I know the life that I want for myself moving forward. So I'm just trying to create a space that kind of like incorporates that a little bit. I don't know if this makes sense, but I just feel like I need a vibe. Does that make sense? I just need a certain vibe so that every morning when I come out to work out, like I want to be in this space versus like coming out and getting distracted by other things. So yeah, I wanna do that. And also just so it looks a little neater, but it looks more neat <laughs> in the videos. There's not like a bunch of stuff going on in the background. All right guys, so it's not like done, but definitely getting better. There are a lot of things I just need to like sort through. But getting better, however, it's okay enough so that if I don't come back and finish, like I'll be okay with it. I know myself, very ADHD tendencies, and that is gonna force me because I'm gonna wanna use my treadmill. So I'll get that done. But if I don't get back to this until whenever, like the next time I'm off, so be it. But we made some progress and this is nowhere near where I want it. I'll show you guys when I'm like finally done with my gym area, what it looks like. But for now, I need to go work out. I need to feed the dog. All right guys, so remember that workout I told you I was gonna do? Well, it still has not happened yet. It is 12.33. I actually started getting a little hungry, but then I didn't really wanna go to the grocery store. So I ordered food via Instacart. <laughs> So I kind of had a taste for like some type of chicken with like um, pasta type 
I don't know. I feel like I want pizza, but I don't want like crust. I don't know. I ordered a rotisserie chicken and I think I'm just gonna make like a, um, put all the pizza toppings on top. That's kind of what I have in mind, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen while the groceries are being delivered. And then as soon as the groceries get here, I will, I'll make it. I'll take you guys along with me and I'll make the low carb pizza. We'll find a name for it. <laughs> all right guys, so I got two orders, one from Aldi and one from Publix. So here is some salmon, pepperoni, turkey pepperoni, Parmesan cheese, um, guac, cheese, hummus, mineral water, some apples and peppers, spaghetti for the fam, cauliflower, um, green beans, and more pesto, some pasta sauce, pickles, almonds, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, broccoli. And then this came from Publix. I'm going to use this um, rotisserie chicken to make like a base for the um, pizza type thing I told you guys I was craving. And then some Triscuits, rice cauliflower. I'll also be using this unsweetened pasta sauce. I've never had this before, so I'm hoping that is yummy. Garlic powder, tomatoes, and then I'm gonna air fry these um, either later tonight or tomorrow, but I'll be sure to put those in the video. Okay, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use. We're gonna use this little dish with um, chicken, some peppers, broccoli, and mushrooms, sage, and green onions, pepperoni, and also some chicken sausage. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing. I'm on the phone with my cousin right now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys like what I'm doing. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking because I'm also on the phone with my cousin right now and we're trying to catch up, but I'm sure you guys will be okay with that. Okay guys, so I took that rotisserie chicken. Remember, it was already cooked and I added it to the base of the pan. Then I also added in some green onion, um, mushroom, broccoli, all of the things that you see here. Like I just chopped all of that up and added it in there. Now I will say, I use cheddar cheese on this. I think a better choice would have been mozzarella cheese. And I also think maybe putting um, a can of um, tomatoes or more pasta sauce would have just made it like even better. And then I topped it with some turkey pepperoni. And then I was really starting to get hungry. So I went ahead and I broke my fast. You guys can see me doing that here at 19 hours and 35 minutes. And then I opened my window with some Triscuits and guacamole. It was so good. I don't know what it is about that first bite after a fast, it's just amazing. But then I felt like I needed a little bit more food, so I got some apples as well as on. All right guys, so I was running my mouth and like yapping on the phone, but I finished like all of those snacks that I had and then I wanted to show you something. And I also wanted to show you, I think I should have put this, I should have used these diced tomatoes inside of that little pizza thing that I want because I think that it's probably gonna be too dry because I didn't use a lot of the sauce because I wanted to avoid using too much sugar. Like even though stuff says like no sugar added, you still have to be careful. But yeah, I'm gonna give it like five more minutes and then I'll take it out. But I'm just, I'm also the type of person that even if it is gross, I'm still gonna eat it anyways. <laughs> so yeah. So here it is out of the oven and Oh my gosh, you guys, let me make some first because I'm so ready to eat. I just took out this portion here. It is not dry, but I do, it's not dry at all, but I do think that I would use like a little bit more of a binder. So maybe like mozzarella cheese would have been great or um, a little bit of cream cheese or something. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself, but mm, 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 yummy. One would think that I would have um, like put the groceries up, but like I said, I was like talking on the phone and doing some other stuff, putting some hot sauce. I'm just gonna take a few bites and then sit down and eat. And I have some more things to do that I'll share with you guys today. And we still need to work out at some point, some point. Why do I always try to eat my food when it's so hot? And this just looks so good. And currently I'm trying to eat like more protein than what I was eating before. Um, so this is a great high protein low carb i'm not really into the whole like keto thing not that there was anything wrong with keto but i don't really focus on trying to get in like more fat but there's some fat in here but definitely lots of protein it's so warmer i also wanted to go back and see um how long i baked it so my eating window has been open for 38 minutes for 38 minutes so I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. I may close it in an hour. I think I'm gonna do at least like a two hour eating window today. 
but I'll keep you posted. All right, so I actually need to go walk my dog now. So my eating window has been open a little bit short of two hours, but I'm gonna go ahead and close it and just hydrate for the rest of the day. I think I should also add that it's currently 3.55. So it says that my um, 16 hours will be up or available at 7.55 in the morning. I probably won't eat until like way past that. That's what we're doing. Let me go walk the dog. And then after I walk the dog, I do need to work out. Oh, I do wanna say that after I eat, oh my gosh, I just feel like Santa with my belly, like ho, ho, ho. But I need to walk the dog and I still need to work out. That is what I'm gonna do. So my goal for today is to get 25,000 steps in. But I'm out here and like, have you guys ever got like fresh laundered leggings and put them on and it feels like something is like sticking you inside of them? Like I have no idea. It's probably, I don't know what it is, but I keep like grabbing at it. So I'm walking out in public and it probably looks like I'm like digging in my legs as if I have some disease or something. So I'm gonna go home and get on the treadmill and change these leggings. I'm just gonna show you guys too that this is all we have left so that can go out with the trash tomorrow. So basically everything else is gone. People already got it, I love it. Hey guys, so before I close out this video, this is Felicia from the next day. I just gotta tell you guys that I ended up going back like yesterday, I did not like get my workout in. I actually went back to my house and I was looking at my project list of all of this stuff that I've been wanting to get done like while I was off from work. And instead of changing my clothes, which I did, I took those leggings off and I put on some more comfortable leggings, I didn't go back and work out, which is like, I don't know. I started back working on my garage again. And then I don't know like what was going on with me. I think I started thinking about the fact that I had a 10 mile walk to do and I reopened my eating window. And basically like almost finished off the freaking tricks, triscuits and hummus. Like what was that about? Like that was not, I feel like my old mindset now that I'm sharing this with you guys, I think my old mindset was like starting to get like into my subconscious a lot more because I was a sprinter and I was an athlete, you know, all of this stuff. And like you're told to carb up. And I just think that like subconsciously I was thinking you got 10 miles to do tomorrow. Like you need more carbs. And silly me, like looking back at it, I feel like I probably should have just gone and like if I was going to reopen my window. I probably should have just eaten more of like the high protein stuff that I had created but my mind was like you need to have more carbs and nothing said like well maybe get an apple or like take the time and maybe make you know like a whole like something better than Triscuits okay but Triscuits were like the first thing there and then I made myself feel better because I was like oh you can have the hummus too but I don't know guys <laughs> I'm just sharing this because I want to be honest with you guys on this journey like sometimes I close my window out and I'm done for the day and then every now and then you know about one or two times a month still sometimes I will reopen my window if I feel that I did not eat enough and this is not a perfect journey for me I'm working on it but like it is not perfect and I just want to share that with you guys. So as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come back and you'll see the gym tour when it's finally done. And then also, I am going to film my 10-mile walk today. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye!